get more from a person who used to work at the U.S. Treasury, now Wharton School professor of business and public policy. Public, uh, Kent Smetters joins us uh, from Philadelphia this morning. It's good to have you on the program, uh, Kent. Uh, what are you expecting out of the Fed? Some are saying that this Operation Twist is pretty much uh, priced into the markets. Uh, your expectations? Right. I mean, given the current low interest rates uh, in the short uh, run anyway, they, the, the Fed really only has three things it can do. It can do this Operation Twist where it tries to lower long-term rates by buying long-term bonds and financing that with short-term uh, debt. And that's not going to have a big impact. As you said, the markets have already priced that in. Uh, but even if they didn't do it, the, the, the yields wouldn't increase uh, that much um, if they decide not to do it. And so I don't think it's going to have a big uh, a stimulus effect. Uh, the, the other policy that they could come out with is a little bit more radical. It's another QE uh, uh, 3, and um, most bets are against that right now. Mm -hmm. um, but if, the, if, in fact, the market turns south a little bit more, I wouldn't be surprised, at least at the next meeting, they could come out with that. And then the last okay. option that they really have available. Okay. Okay. Can't, uh, it, you know, it, how much yeah, lower yeah. do the markets have to turn before they will consider this next round of QE3? Yeah, I think it's really going to peg mainly on the unemployment rate. If the unemployment ticks up a few points, then I think it could actually happen. And also, of course, depends on the current inflation rate. It's actually been pretty low, at least if you look at the core. And so I think yeah. there is going to be some room for that type of discussion. That's interesting. What do you price a recession right now in the U.S.? We were just speaking to a guest, uh, an investment uh, strategist, saying it's 50-50 in the U.S. and it's pretty much baked in in Europe in the next 12 months. Yeah, I mean, I would agree with that. I think the risk of a double dip is definitely there. I mean, though, of course, the bigger problem is the long-term outlook is even more scary, believe it or not. And so that, that's uh, what policymakers are really going to have to grapple with. How do you deal with the short run and deal with the long run at the same time? And that, that's a tricky business. Yeah, that is a tricky business. In fact, the IMF is warning there could be some pretty dire and severe repercussions if Europe doesn't get its house in order, if the U.S. doesn't do the same. And you have, uh, you know, a lot of jittery investors out there. So I'm saying this is a cyclical bear market as a result, and uh, stocks aren't going to go higher from these levels. Your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, it's what the IMF report is basically saying, hey, you know, the U.S. needs to fix, the Europe needs to fix. If both of those can get done, then we'll have a great world. Well, of course, it, that's a very large calling. Um, the problem in the, in the United States and Europe it really is political. Policymakers really don't want to lose their seats in the short run in order to deal with the long-term problems. And that, they've been kicking the can down the road for a good decade. I mean, this is a foreseeable problem right here. This is not due to the mortgage prices, crisis. This is due, uh, due to the fiscal policy uh, uh, okay. short-sightedness of our policymakers. All right, Kent, uh, thank you so much for your insights. Good talking to you. Hope to have you back on the program. Kent Smetters of Wharton, who used to work at the U.S. Treasury.